Really Weird Mysteries Bigfoot by Aubrey Andrus and Simon Leclerc Epic Originals The sky is blue. That's been proven to be true. But some things in this world are mysteries. One day, we might better understand them. But for now, we're not quite sure. That's the case with Bigfoot, a giant, human-like creature that might live in forests around the world. Some claim to have gathered evidence that Bigfoot exists. Others think it's a legend. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Who is Bigfoot? Giant Footprints Puzzle Residence That was a real newspaper headline printed in Northern California in 1958. Mysterious 16-inch footprints appeared in the woods, and no one knew how they got there. In a small town called Bluff Creek, rumors started flying that a wild, dangerous creature was on the loose. Local loggers who worked in the woods cutting down trees laughed about it. They even came up with a nickname for the monster, Bigfoot. This photo was taken in 1962. Some people say it is proof that Bigfoot exists. But then, even more giant footprints appeared, and this small town story became a national headline. Everyone in the country wanted to know who or what was making those giant footprints. Since the 1950s, thousands of people say they have spotted Bigfoot, but only a few have caught the moment on camera. No one has been able to get close enough to touch, talk to, or capture Bigfoot. So the question remains today, is something or someone living in the woods? No one knows for sure. Trivia. Sasquatch is another name for Bigfoot. What does Bigfoot look like? People who say they've seen Bigfoot describe him as a mix between a human, a bear, and an ape. Here are a few other things eyewitnesses have said about Bigfoot. He's strong. His long arms and legs are believed to be very muscular, making him stronger than a human for sure. He can pick up heavy things easily and can even tip over cars with no problem. He's tall. Bigfoot is believed to be somewhere between 6 and 10 feet tall and weigh between 400 and 1,000 pounds. That means he could be taller than the tallest man who ever lived, Robert Wadlow, who stood 8 feet 11 inches tall. He's hairy. People say that Bigfoot is covered in dark, reddish hair from head to toe, just like a bear. But they say his face is ape-like, with dark skin, a flattened nose, and thin lips. He stinks. Those who have allegedly spotted Bigfoot claim that a foul stench often follows in his wake. Sometimes, the bad smell is a clue that he's nearby. Maybe Bigfoot doesn't like to shower. Average man, 5 feet 9 inches. Average black bear, 5 feet 5 inches. Average gorilla, 5 feet 6 inches. Average Bigfoot, 8 feet. What's with the big feet? Animals with large feet can walk more easily on snow, ice, or any other kind of rugged terrain. This is helpful for Bigfoot since he is said to live in forested areas of colder climates. His fur coat would help keep him warm, too. Man's size 10 footprint. Black bear. Gorilla. Bigfoot. Trivia. The mountain gorilla wasn't discovered until 1902. It's possible that Bigfoot is a type of primate we have yet to officially discover. Bigfoot's behaviors. What does Bigfoot do all day? Based on what Bigfoot spotters have told us, these are our best guesses. He talks a lot. 
Bigfoot is believed to make a lot of noise. Everything from howls to growls have been reported, and the noises are loud. Bigfoot may be communicating across great distances, so that may be why he seems to yell. He eats a lot. Bigfoot is probably an omnivore, which means he eats both plants and meat. He likely hunts other wild animals such as deer for most of his meals, but also gathers berries, nuts, and greens, pictured below. Because he's so big, he needs a lot of food to survive. Trivia. Humans are primates. So are apes and monkeys. All primates can see very well, have thumbs that can be placed opposite their fingers, opposable thumbs, and have large brains. He walks a lot. Bigfoot walks upright on two legs and swings his arms like a human does. He can run at 35 miles per hour, which is about as fast as a galloping horse. It's easier to catch your next meal when you can move that quickly. Bigfoot may also be nomadic, which means he doesn't stay in one place for very long. He moves from place to place because he's always on the hunt for more food. He sleeps a lot. Bigfoot could be nocturnal, which means he sleeps during the day and stays awake all night. That could be one reason why Bigfoot has been able to hide from humans for so long. Owls, bats, raccoons, and crickets are also nocturnal. Some people believe that Bigfoot is the missing link between humans and other primates. All primates are from the same family of organisms, called hominidae. Chimpanzees are most similar to humans, but there could be something even closer to us. Perhaps it's Bigfoot. Famous Bigfoot Encounters Bigfoot sightings have been reported day and night from forests across the United States and all over the world. 1. Place, Bluff Creek, California. Year, 1958. Bigfoot prints are found for the first time. This part of Northern California earns the nickname Bigfoot Country. 2. Place, Bluff Creek, California. Year, 1967. Bigfoot himself is sighted. This time, he's caught on film, and it goes on to become the most famous video footage of Bigfoot. It's called the Patterson-Gimlin film. 3. Place, Chopaka Lake, Washington. Year, 1996. A large ape-like creature calmly walks across a field in the middle of the day on Memorial Day. Bigfoot's caught on film again. 4. Place. Gifford Pinchot National Forest, Washington. Year. 2002. An imprint of a large body is found in the mud, and it's thought to be Bigfoot. A cast of the imprint, now called the Skookum Cast, is made. 5. Place. Allegheny National Forest, Pennsylvania. Year. 2007. A hunter captures night vision photos of bear cubs, as well as a larger, more ape-like animal. Bigfoot hunters swear it's a young Sasquatch. 6. Place. Pendleton, Oregon. Year. 2013. Night after night, strange shrieking noises fill the air near a Native American reservation. Locals say it doesn't sound like any animal they've ever heard before. Is it Bigfoot? Bigfoot Spotted This is a true story of a Sasquatch sighting. While hiking through the woods of Marble Mountain Wilderness in California, a group of kids and their youth group leader stumbled upon an unusual sight a tent-like hiding spot made from a bunch of heavy, leaning branches. But it looked like the thick branches were snapped, not cut with an ax or a saw. What kind of animal could do that? They weren't sure, but they knew it must be very strong. 
They kept walking until they came to an opening in the forest. A tall, tree-lined hill sloped in front of them, and a shadowy figure was walking along the ridge. It wasn't a man. Its arms were too long, but it was walking on two legs. It stopped and looked right at them. The campers froze. What was that? The youth group leader took out his video camera and began recording the tall, furry figure. It kept walking along the ridge, but it looked angry. The campers wondered if they should try to capture it. What if no one believed them? But then the creature disappeared from sight. The group decided to spend the night at their campsite, even though they were nervous. The next morning, it was sunny and bright. There was no sign of their curious visitor. But the campers were sure of it. They had gotten a rare glimpse of Bigfoot. Trivia. The 2001 video taken by Jim Mills and his troupe is the longest video footage of Bigfoot ever taken. Bigfoot Believers People around the world are searching for signs. Some people believe in Bigfoot, others don't. These organizations hope to prove that Bigfoot is real by sharing the evidence they've found. If you find any proof that Bigfoot exists, you could contact them. Willow Creek China Flat Museum in Willow Creek, California. Located along the Bigfoot Scenic Byway, this museum has casts of Bigfoot's footprint, as well as photos of Bigfoot himself. It's the perfect place for a Bigfoot museum, since this is the most popular spot in the country to search for Sasquatch. Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. This is the largest group that studies Bigfoot. They gather data and observations from around North America to try and uncover what Bigfoot is like and where he lives. The International Cryptozoology Museum in Portland, Maine. Cryptozoology is the scientific study of animals that haven't yet been proven to exist. This museum features creatures like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, a sea serpent that people claim to have spotted in Scotland. What is evidence? Evidence is proof that something is true. The more evidence you have, the easier it is to believe something. Idaho State University primatologist Jeff Meldrum has more than 300 castings of what could be a Bigfoot footprint. Do you think that's good evidence? Photos or videos count as evidence, too. So don't forget your camera the next time you go on a hunt for Bigfoot. Trivia even adults aren't sure whether or not Bigfoot is real. But for every five people asked, one person says, probably. How to find Bigfoot. If Bigfoot does exist, he lives deep in forests that are far from cities and roads. So most people see signs of Bigfoot while they are camping or hiking in the woods. They often see or hear a large, mysterious creature in the distance and they realize that it doesn't look or sound like any human or animal they've encountered before. Before you go looking for Bigfoot, you'll need a few things. A camera, so you can capture your findings. Hiking shoes, so you can trek through the woods. An adult, to help keep you safe. Bug spray, so you can keep yourself free of ticks and mosquitoes. A notebook, so you can record clues. A map of hiking trails, so you don't get lost. Binoculars, so you can see Bigfoot from far away. Is Bigfoot in your town? Bigfoot has been spotted in every state in the United States except Hawaii. Sightings are reported most frequently in the Pacific Northwest, and they also occur throughout Canada. Trivia. Another big furry species is said to live in the Himalayas, a mountain range in Asia. Locals call this creature the Abominable Snowman, or Yeti. What to look for? Bigfoot hunters aren't just searching for Bigfoot. They're also searching for clues he's left behind or signs that he may be nearby. While hiking through the woods, keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where Bigfoot will turn up next. He's very good at hiding. Bent or leaning branches that form a teepee shape. Some people believe that Bigfoot stacks branches into teepees 
to make a shelter to sleep in, or as some kind of signal. In April 2019, mysterious 32-inch footprints were found on a mountain in Nepal. Members of the Indian Army noticed the trail of snowy prints. Was it a yeti? Or a mama bear and her cub trailing behind? We don't know for sure. Tufts of dark fur on branches. An unusual howl or growl. A very bad smell. Large droppings. That's another way of saying poop. Do others think that Bigfoot is real? 7%. Definitely real. 22%. Probably real. 38%. Probably not real. 23%. Definitely not real. 10%. Not sure. Waiting it out. Instead of seeking out signs of Bigfoot, you could visit an area that's known for Bigfoot sightings and just sit down and wait. Some Bigfoot hunters leave apples in the woods and wait to see if Bigfoot will come by and grab the snack. This takes a lot of patience. Bigfoot in pop culture. Although the first famous Bigfoot sighting was in the 1950s, Native American tribes have told stories for generations about extra-large creatures spotted in the woods. In fact, stories are told all over the world about these mysterious man-like animals. That might be why giant hairy characters show up in so many TV shows, movies, and more. King Kong In 1933, a movie was made about a giant gorilla-like monster that climbs the Empire State Building in New York City. Since then, there have been many more movies about Kong. Chewbacca This famous hairy Star Wars character is more than seven feet tall. And so was the actor who played him. He's a type of imaginary animal called a Wookiee. Harry and the Hendersons In this movie... A family finds Bigfoot and adopts him as a pet. It turns out, he's really nice. Yeti in my spaghetti. In this game, players must remove the noodles without letting the Yeti fall. Do Yetis really like spaghetti? We don't know for sure. Finding Bigfoot. In this TV series on Animal Planet, a team travels all over the world looking for evidence that will help prove that Bigfoot is real. Make a cast of your own foot. When Bigfoot hunters find a large footprint in the ground, they make a cast as evidence. Then they analyze it for clues. You can use your own hand or footprint or your dog's paw print for practice. The best place to make a cast is in a sandy spot at a beach or playground. You'll need Plaster of Paris Dry Mix, found at craft stores. A plastic bucket or tin can. Water. A craft stick. 1. Press your hand or foot firmly into soft, damp sand to create a mold. 2. Following the directions on the box, Measure the plaster of Paris into the bucket. 3. Measure the correct amount of water and slowly pour it into the plaster, stirring while you pour. Keep stirring until the mixture thickens. 4. Slowly pour the mixture into your mold. 5. Wait 30 minutes for the plaster to dry. 6. Carefully lift your cast from the sand. Rinse it with water to clean it up. You be the judge. Now that you've read the stories, learned the facts, and studied the evidence, it's time to form your own opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. I believe in Bigfoot. What evidence convinced you that this creature exists? How do you think you can prove to others that Bigfoot is real? It's just a legend. What convinced you that Bigfoot couldn't possibly be real? What other explanations can you think of for the mysterious sightings? Trivia. Who believes in Bigfoot? 25% of men, 19% of women. Other places to look for Bigfoot.
Movies. Harry and the Hendersons, Universal, 1987. Smallfoot. Warner Brothers, 2018. Missing Link. Laika, 2019. Abominable. DreamWorks, 2019. Books. You can find these and other Bigfoot books on Epic. Mythical Creatures, Bigfoot, by Molly Jones. Bigfoot, by Laura K. Murray. Is Bigfoot Real, by Patrick Parrish. Surviving a Bigfoot Attack, by Thomas Kingsley Troop. Bigfoot, Mysterious Monsters, by David Michael Slater. Organizations. Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. The International Cryptozoology Museum. North American Wood Ape Conservancy.